Coast Boy, baby. Maybach music. All right, guys. So I decided to um, do my alternator today instead of paying someone to do it. Um, I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how to do it. Um, so please bear with me. It's my only second video this camera. So hold on for dear life, because this is gonna suck. <laughs> um, so my previous video, I said I'd start it up for you guys. So I'm gonna start it up. Um, this is a cold start, I mean obviously it hasn't been started in three days and Connecticut ain't like 90 degrees, so, um, it's plugged into the Jeep right now, so we have 12 volts, so, um, it might not run the first start because I'm not going to close the choke because I still have to fix that, but let's, uh, try it out. Looks close. Yes, they did. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the alternator bearing. I don't know if you can hear it. This sounds boosted with no air cleaner on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Sounds pretty cool, I guess. Here's that thing I was telling you about. My door is ajar, and this is telling me my... I don't know if you can see it. Oh, uh, it's telling me my trunk's open. There's my brake light. I don't know if you guys can see that. says brake lamp on it. Um, that's because I'm running LED tail lights, so uh, put this shit warm up. Gotta get to 160 before we can put it on the ramp. This engine's actually very quiet, but um, my alternator bearings exploded inside because my alternator is original, so I guess that's probably part of the problem. Let's go see what tools we'll need. Okay guys, hopefully, um, I don't think you can see, but um, the bolt is right here. It mounts to this bracket right there, um, right now. Loosening it. Wish I could show you guys, but um, ain't happening. Today. Now, if you're like me and you have a Weber conversion, it is easier to take off of this brake booster hose. But I don't feel like taking it off. And probably your, um, your fuck this picking is up. My little contraption. Um, if you guys' car is all factory, unlike mine, you're probably gonna need to take out the, this to give you room in here. 
You see guys how I did that? This is the long 12. Um, that bolt right there. You see how it has the lines and shit? And then you just would break it. Like I was saying, this kind of gets caught up in here. So you can remove the, the brake booster and just plug it back in. It's just a vacuum line. Um, like I said, my cruise control was already out. So yours, you could probably just... Um, they just bolt right here, obviously. It's a little cylinder type thing. It goes like that. Um, but you just take that bolt off first. I'm trying to show you guys so you guys can see what bolt I'm talking about. But that is the first bolt you take off. Is that bolt. Hopefully I can get the image quality better. I got this camera at a pawn shop for 10 bucks, so it beats me. Um, I'm going to finish taking this bolt off and I'll pull you guys back off the tripod. Okay, um, hopefully you can see, there is the, right there, that is the bolt. Fortunately for us with these older cords, we don't have as cramped as the newer Hondas. Pretty sure in the newer Hondas you gotta lift the motor mounts up and shit to even access the belt. Um, fortunately for us old school Honda people, we um, have room. Okay, control. There's a bolt. Let me pull you guys off. Okay, so there's our bolt and washer. Um, I don't know how you guys can see. That's our bolt and washer. Um, you just take that off. I prefer to put my bolts in this little hole because they don't go anywhere and it looks cool, I guess. Alright, so let's see with the flashlight you guys can see better. Um, like I was saying down in here, that That right there is the bolt hole. That's where the bolt hole goes, just like the butthole bolt hole. Right down in there. So once you take that off, then you are going to, as in my option, we're going to beat the shit out of this to loosen up the belt. Um, so watch and have fun watching me beat up my car. Hopefully you guys don't fall.
should be loose enough, hopefully. Alright, so we got the belt off, um, as you can see right here, belt is off, water pump, where I was hitting, if you guys come into the same problem me, is right there, um, I guess you guys can't see that, um, but yes, I was hitting right here, with the crowbar, that's why I said you need a crowbar, because if your pivot thing is locked up like mine, uh, well, it's just not locked up, the bolt just won't come off because obviously it moved. Um, you hit it right there and it actually pivots it back down so you can take the belt off. So now we're going to take the power steering pulley off. Which is actually very, very easy. So I'll hold the camera for that one. Um, you're going to need to get to... That bolt. Which is right there. Um, you'll see this behind it, a little slot. Right there, a little slot and that bolt. Um, and then all you need to take off is this bolt and then um, you just slide that piece forward. And um, this is your pivot point. Basically you're loosening the bolt so it can allow it to pivot and that down there holds it in place. When you loosen that, you just push this forward after loosening that, and the belt should just come right off. And down there, in the crank, yeah, I can show you guys from underneath. Um, so let's go ahead and take this uh, pulley thing off here. Let me see if I can readjust you guys to see how it is. Alright, so hopefully you can see, um, sucks to have a gigantic ass tripod. So the one on the bottom, down here that I showed you, the, that is a 12. That one you just loosen, and then the one on the top here I'm pretty sure is a 14, so let's do a 14. It is a 14. Fourteen. You don't need any extension issues, but. Alright, so, like I said, see how it moves now? So you push it all the way down, and then you just pull it off. 
Now you're going to have to pull this one off the crank, so we'll go underneath to do that. I'll show you guys, hopefully. Let me take off these stupid-ass plastic covers. Now, if your car is still... Here's my straight pipe. Header. Straight pipe. Okay, so if your car is still intact and not rusted like that, then um, you can just use a 10 millimeter socket and unbolt these. From where they go, but mine car is rusted, so and these pliers I found do not cut anything. Fuck you. I'll just get some. Real cutters. Now this job should not be dirty unless your engine is disgusting and you have leaks everywhere. But um, other than that, you don't really don't need gloves. Like that looks weird. It's not really how dirty I am. Oh, here's our cutters or not. Sorry guys for not being prepared, I um, I really don't want to do this, so, just going with the flow right now. I mean, the place only charged me 80 bucks to change it out, because I already got the part, but, um, you know, I could use the 80 bucks for a lot of things. It's like buying my sheet metal, welding that shit in. Alright, so we're going back down here. And we're just gonna okay, as you can see, here's my leak for my crank. Um, now we're gonna need to get super extensions to take off the other side. So go ahead and put this on. You're going to need this and another one, trust me. So we'll go get that right now. I truly forgot that we had to take this plastic stuff off. That was not in my little list to show you guys. So sorry for all the running around and shit. I haven't really figured out how to edit videos yet. So sorry if you guys get bored watching me walk around. Uh, what was I looking for? This is the extension I used last time. Put this into scale. Here's my hand. And it keeps going all the way down to there. So, I mean, it's good to have extensions, I guess. Like, this one is just retorted, though. You don't need it this long. I just grabbed all the extensions we had. I'm going to put you back on the tripod for a second and show you guys some stuff.
and you're going to need a 10. Take you guys down. Should have got something to lay on. Dumbasses park in my spot and spill shit everywhere. While we're down here, we're going to go ahead and pull that belt out of there. So let's do that. Alright, so it is off, if you can see right. off it's over there now which we can therefore pull it up through there so that's your bolt for the um the fuck that is where did it go there it is this is basically on the very edge of your um the very edge of your little button. Um, basically, look for your your left CV axle, and it's right next to it. That's my CV axle. It's right there. I'm gonna take that off so you guys can enjoy the view of the ground. Yes, it's a very long bolt. I would show you guys, but um, that's pretty much all you can see. It's dark as fuck. Right here. Okay, I think I just got it off. Let's see. That right there is where you're at. Nope, there we go. Don't lose these bolts, because if you're like me and this is your only car.
you know what was it? Um, this little thing right here is pretty fucking annoying too. It just goes in your subframe. You can see that thing right there goes in your subframe. It just like slides in there, but uh, now that you have a full view of your belt, you can uh, go ahead and. Uh, Here's my power steering belt, and uh, there is your alternator belt. So fuck, I'll show you a little bit. Um, so now that all that's cleared off, um, I'm gonna spray some PV blaster on this bolt and show you what it looks like. Let's get my flashlight. So that bolt right there. And it is a bitch to get off because this side happens to be a square thing. So I'm gonna spray some shit in there and then I'll be back. Alright. Alright guys, so I couldn't get it off with um this is what you need by the way. Just um those two in your socket. And it goes in the bolt, and then you, you can either get it off or my problem. The Dremel. So, I'm going to try to cut it off and um, see what happens. Um, if not, you know, I can always still drive it down to the fucking place and they can deal with it. I'm only doing this to try to save money. I mean, I got the money to do it. I just don't want to spend it on that. So, um, I'll be back show you what I did so uh, peace alright guys so um, I've gotten pretty much half through I guess um, let's try and get, uh, I got metal shavings all on my fucking arm. Um, green, I have metal shavings all inside my camera. Should have took the gloves off. Um, so I might make this a two-part series because I might wait till tomorrow and let my uh, friend come over and help them. Um, so I'll decide. So. Toss and turn. Got my hand on my pistol when Willie's motherfuckers learn. Watch it. I ain't gonna.